Hello everyone, I am J.M. Robison, and you are probably watching this video on my Facebook page. So, my purpose today with this video is to kind of show you the process it takes to write a novel. Uh, so briefly, I will orient you to what I'm looking at here. <clears throat> this is a program, and first of all, I apologize for my... Um, <clears throat> my allergies. I live in El Paso, Texas, and it sucks really bad here. Uh, anyway, there's a lot of dust in the air and and crap. So <clears throat> again, I apologize for all my throat clearing. So what we're looking at here, this is a program called Scrivener. Uh, it's a pretty popular platform for writers. Basically, it's a it's a rough draft organizer. And what we're looking at here is. Uh, screenshot of all of my chapters. Each one of these index cards represents a chapter and I can color them and over here are also my chapters which I can click on individually to actually bring up the text that I have written. <clears throat> so this novel, uh, I've been working on this for for 17 years now. I wrote it when I was 15 and I loved it so much that uh, I've just I haven't let it go. I, I in fact I have um, this is the first book in um, in a five book series and they're all written uh, and and it's very dear to my heart. I grew up writing this. I've rewritten it a whole bunch of times <laughs> and um, and it's I basically have rewritten it because as I've grown as a writer. I have learned new things and my feelings on certain elements in the story have also changed and anyway so I'm coming at it yet again to rewrite it because I was pitching this to agents for publication because uh, I considered it finished but I, I'm, I've hit 37 rejections so far and I was like okay I am doing something wrong is it my query letter is it my my first page and I got a, uh, I follow a, it's called Manuscript Academy, and there are live agents who will actually uh, critique what you've written, critique your query letter, critique your first page, and give you their honest agent feedback on it and whether it, they would take it or whether they would, you know, um, refuse it. And so, uh, and it was, uh, costing me $50, but I gave her my first page and she critiqued it and she says, she said, yeah, there's, I really don't know what's happening here. The action's kind of confusing. Um, and, and she gave me some really good pointers. And so after that, um, I was listening to their podcasts and, I, and uh, listening to them talk about uh, first pages and the importance of it and some things that I just, I didn't really actually realize. So now I have just shredded this entire story into pieces to look at it and to seriously consider how to make it better. So I've color coded these cards. <clears throat> Green to me means uh, the chapter is important to the plot. And what does that mean? What is it? What is? How is a chapter important to the plot? If the chapter is important, if you remove the chapter from the story, the story does not read the same. The other is true for non-important chapters. If uh, if I remove the chapter and the story does read the same, it means that that chapter I removed does nothing and it is just fluff. Which is not always bad because uh, you can see here I have dubbed these as uh, not essential to the plot per se. However, uh, this is a fantasy and so we are allowed, because we in fantasies we create our own world, we create our own government, we create our own races of people, we create our own magic systems, and so we are, we are allowed those extra chapters to help supplement the creation of our world. And so these chapters here are not necessarily tied to the direct plot line that goes shoots all the way through the book, but they are important to my world building. And, and then uh, they also will support uh, an event that happens in the next book. So they do serve a purpose. Uh, they're just not directly linked to plot. So I would actually color coat these differently <clears throat> to uh, say that these are world building. Now, what I also have done is <laughs> marked these ones as red because I 
These to me are going to be on the chopping block for deletion. I've already looked at them and I've seriously considered, does the story read the same without them? And you know what? It sure does. It doesn't necessarily do anything to uh, char uh, building character. It doesn't do anything to, to supplement world building. It doesn't do anything to push the plot forward. Like The story would read the exact same if I were to remove those chapters. Uh, now that that stupid long explanation is, is over with, uh, so you kind of have an idea about what I'm doing and, and how this looks, I'm just going to start doing my thing and start writing. So anyway, my brain's a little fried. You notice I didn't do any writing. Little notes here and there, and it's it's almost been an hour and a half. So I'm just gonna take a break, do something completely different. I really like uh, I really like PC gaming, so I'll probably do some gaming just to take uh, give my brain a break from this, and then I will return to it and start hacking at it some more.